About how many of these observances for Hiroshima have you gone to? I would say about 60 of these vigils. And, and what is your military experience? I know you have. Yeah, uh, I'm a veteran of World War II in the infantry and in the, in the struggle against fascism. And I'm, I'm also, oh, that's, that's all right, I'm, I'm also a decorated uh, soldier with the Bronze Star. And what thoughts do you have today about the bombing of Hiroshima? Yes. Well, very in interesting. Uh, I was not aware of it as a soldier. Uh, I, I was, was discharged uh, at the time when some of the other soldiers were being transferred to go to the, to the east. To, to, as a, but it was when I started to come home that I learned about this, this frightening experience, and immediately began to, to read about this new horrible weapon. And then, of course, my reaction was immediately, immediate, that this was a political weapon. This was aimed uh, at that time at the, at the Soviet Union, uh, to, to warn the Soviet Union that, uh, of this power. But since time, it took legs of its own and became the basis for military deterrence, this nonsense for a weapon that cannot be used on a battlefield, but it's aimed only at cities and people, civilians. Now, was your feeling shared by other uh, soldiers and veterans? Because Many who I've talked to just said, well, I thought I was going to shorten the war, so I was all for it. Oh, I think you're correct. I think you're correct. Uh, I, I think that was the first reaction for, for many people. Did not understand fully the nature of this weapon, what it, what it potentially could be used for. Did not understand its political implication. And it certainly uh, helped get us more used to brutalities the discussing the unthinkable global thermonuclear war, hundreds of millions killed. And this was in the 50s anyway. This was sort of the everyday chatter. I, I think that's true. There's an element of dehumanizing the issue. And under the rubric that this was shortening the war and that it was sad and tragic, but it had to be had to be done. And then, of course, they built up the, the Pentagon and, and the Cold War, uh, built up this whole ideology about the necessity of more and more nuclear, nuclear weapons without even considering what they were, what they were do, doing. And now we've come to a point where even there are some of the right-wing leadership recognizes it can't even use nuclear weapons and would prefer using their new modern technology, the drones and, and, and other weapons that have been developing. And so they have entered the anti-nuclear weapons debate, <coughs> not for moral reasons, not for humanitarian reasons, but start using the new uh, technology. And, and now we, we have Israel, though, threatening to go up against Iran because it claims Iran may have a program that may one day develop nuclear weapons. Yeah, well, one of the real tragedies is that nuclear weapons has been used for the, for the Iraq war, where we allowed our sons and daughters to be killed for something that did not exist. And then at the same time, well, we're now facing this situation where it's quite evident that the U.S. and Israel are conniving on how to meet uh, the uh, so-called purported Iranian nuclear crisis. Here again, it's based absolutely on, on no evidence that they're able to, to, to uh, show to the, to the world 
At the same time, they're meeting on a daily basis to discuss who will do the bombing uh, on Iran. And the shameful part of this is not only on the nuclear weapons uh, issue that this uh, President Obama, who made this wonderful speech in the Prague about getting rid of nuclear weapons, and while he also said not in his lifetime, he's now devoting $80 billion to modernize the nuclear weapons arsenal of the United States. So here, we're using nuclear weapons, the issue of nuclear weapons, as an issue against Iran. And I think most of us are pretty sophisticated to realize that it is not the nuclear weapons. It is domination of the Middle East. It is to initiate in Syria this crisis so they can be closer to Iran and complete the, the project of complete U.S. imperialist domination in, in the Middle East. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sam.